Good morning guys. So I am a little late on uploading this video. If you haven't seen on uh, my latest Mushy Moo video, uh, everything that was happening with my father, I never got a chance to upload this video. This Goodwill trip was from last Monday and uh, we found a bunch of really cool things. I didn't want to let the footage go to waste, so I edited it, man. We found a lot of awesome things that you guys should definitely check out. And that way, you know, the thing is when you watch my videos and you see the things that I pick up, then you go to your local Goodwill, you could potentially find the same things that I do and we can both make money on those products but yeah sorry for the late upload let's see what I found at Goodwill yes sir let's get in here let's see what we can find man as soon as you walk in you always got to see uh, what tag is on sale this week it was orange so we're going to be looking out for them orange tags I love when I can find boxes like this because most of the time it means that the product is new. Unfortunately, this JVC, I think it's like a VCR player or something, it was not brand new. But you can see again, the back wall has just been bare again. I guess they're not getting many donations of those things. I'm looking inside this box, man, looking to see what I can find. Nothing much there. Uh, I do end up going into the miscellaneous and toy section where Girlfriend usually is. And you can see they are packed full of things. Girlfriend is now looking through all of that miscellaneous stuff and then uh, I eventually oh yeah I picked this up and I think I put it back did I not or I might have put it in the cart because I did end up buying that okay so the first thing is I found an indoor hockey desktop edition little thing for two bucks but look what girlfriend found sports card collection go ahead and open it quick little input this was actually 570 baseball cards that's crazy it's all baseball cards okay that's enough of that how much do they want $15 $15 is that worth it We'll have to see. I don't know much about cards anymore. I don't know if they're still really worth it. Go ahead and give me that cart over here. I done found something. Uh, I think I checked that one out now. Found a bunch of these little cars. Not in the best condition for the box wise, but there's a bunch of them. Look at that. This one's a little broken there. We'll just put them in the cart for now. Oh, there's more. I was about to turn the camera off. There's a little military one. Rip right there, that sucks. Is there any more? What else? What is, what is this? Planet collection? It's missing a couple though. Did it hurt when you fell from heaven? Oh man. Let's see, let's see, click it. Are you tired? Because you've been running through my mind all day. Oh my goodness. My recommendation when you go reselling is try to just put everything in the cart. You can see, I mean, this is some little Starlink action figure type thing. It did not end up being worth it, but you would never really know if it isn't worth it or if it is if you never put it in your cart. So try to just fill up your cart as much as you can. Usually I always say that these types of board games or memory games sell really good on Amazon, but this uh, Toy Story one actually sold good on eBay, so I got it. Girlfriend, what is all this? No idea. <laughs> what are kiwi crates? I'm <laughs> fine, like 20 of them. Wow, this must have been sitting in the sun for a while. Usually brand new items from Nerf can resell for some really good money, but I actually couldn't even find this thing on eBay. It's like some basketball hoop type thing, but I couldn't even tell if the uh, net was in there. And then girlfriend was looking at a cordless massager. And this is exactly what I was mentioning before. This Candyland board game is sealed, brand new. And on eBay, it would not make you a lot of money. But on Amazon, this board game would make you a really good amount of money. So I recommend getting an Amazon account I'll get one soon trust I'm gonna be completely honest I don't think I've ever found a doll like this that I could actually resell for some good money usually they go for like 10 bucks and Goodwill wants like two uh, girlfriend did find a sticker book uh, I don't know why I think I was gonna buy that for my nephews but for some reason I put that back looking back at it now I should have put it in the cart but uh, you can see our cart is getting pretty full now oh wait this is the football one I put the other one in the cart somewhere so we'll take this one too then Man, we're finding a whole bunch of stuff. Okay, let me see that too. The thing is, people don't use this anymore. How does it even end up here? Let me check it out. It could go international. When it comes to reselling baby items, it really depends on the brand that you pick up. Most baby items won't make you a lot of money, but if you can find that right brand, you can make good money. Okay, someone help me in the comments. What is this? Because it looks like a pool cue, but then it has a golf ball in it, so it has to be like a golf ball style pool cue something like that uh, I could not find this on Amazon couldn't find it on eBay couldn't find it online so I did not end up buying it 
All right, so this is a good lesson for anyone that's just getting started into uh, reselling. Watch out for fake designer items. Uh, when I started doing eBay for like two years ago, I remember I picked up a Burberry uh, shirt that actually ended up being fake. And I think this Prada wallet is also fake because you can see I'm trying to put the magnet to the other magnet and it's not sticking. So I think this Prada wallet was fake. I've said this in a previous video, but this is one thing that really irks me. You can see that the box is in really good condition, but it's taped closed. And the reason they tape it closed is because they don't want you to open it. They don't want you to actually see what's in there. It's like DJ Khaled. They don't want to see you succeed and stuff like that. But just look at how... How full this cart is you can see girlfriend was actually testing a couple uh is that actually white hold on now i think i listed that as being black that is actually white wait hold on now i actually have to go back in my listing now and change that to being black because we did pick up two amazon alexas one was well actually both of them were white okay hold on now. i gotta go to my ebay listing and change that to white all right moment of truth let's go ahead and see is it in there and it is it's like everything pretty much is in there is the camera good I don't know if that's a thing on the camera. It's not new, that's for sure. If open box goes for good money, we can get that. This polo right here was a pretty sick find. The only issue was they wanted $13 for it. It is a penguin polo, but you can see the floral print really makes it stand out, and it might help it sell better on eBay. Yes, sir, what is a Goodwill trip without finding some more Bucks polos? These things sell like hotcakes for me. Only issue was there was a little stain on it that I didn't see till I was doing doing pictures so I have to re oxy clean it rewash it it'll come off easy with the oxy clean man oxy clean is your best friend these are my absolute favorite polo shirts to wear they are grand slams the polos that you always see me wear especially on the mushy moo channel they are all grand slam they are the most comfiest polos man the only issue with this one was it was a size smaller than I needed oh here was another brand new one but it was Alfani which is not a good brand lovely I ended up finding a second brand new new penguin polo again this one was $13 I did pick both of them up spent $26 total on the polos but they're such nice prints you can see like the flowers orange white on black and then this one is more red blue on black it, they're just so nice man uh, they the MSRP was also $69 each for every polo so I listed up for some little good money these were an absolute insane find it's the first time I ever heard of Travis Matthew polo polo shirts and apparently these things sell like Ralph Lauren's uh, there was a bunch of them I'm not even joking there was probably like eight eight or nine of these polos but so many of them had like little issues and not even just stains if it was stains I would have still picked it up but they had little rips in them you can see I'm just going back and forth looking through all of them this one I actually did pick up the only thing was also they wanted eight dollars each so I spent a lot of money on these and then here is the next set of Travis Matthews, a really nice black color. The only thing is they didn't have the M up front. I'm hoping that doesn't really affect it because I ended up buying three of these Travis Matthews and I just lotted them all up together. So there was this black one, there, then there was this blue one right here and you can see right where I'm uh, rubbing it, there was, a, there was a tear in it. You can see I'm putting all the ones that are bad together and then all the ones that were good, I, I kept uh, all those on my cart. You can see another tear almost in the same place if there was no tears i would have made so much money i've been saying it forever now if you're not picking up callaway polos you are turning down a lot of money i ended up finding three callaway polos uh, that i was going to buy there was a lot more but again stains and rips i uh, just don't want to deal with those you, I, you can see I, I might be pointing at it the gopro has a really hard time picking up stains that's one thing that i did notice i'm gonna be completely honest if this manchester united jersey was my size i would have kept it for myself you can see there's no name on the back but it's got the big shell Chevy logo. I found it in the shirt section, which is so cool, man. There's money to be made in every section of Goodwill. So your total on this very fine day is one seventy nine thirty five. Yes, Sirski guys, we came over to the second Goodwill. We took forever in the first one. Hopefully, it doesn't take as long in this one. And it is orange tags, by the way. Whenever I do the editing, I always wish I would have picked up what I found. This is a Tyga Last Kings t-shirt. Doesn't resell for great money, but it's still a really cool design and it was really clean. I just think the issue with that one was that it was a size smaller than what I usually wear. 
This was a really nice Salt Life t-shirt. Again, I don't understand how Goodwill's pricing works because this shirt was only like three or four dollars and it was brand new. But then in the other Goodwill, if you wanted to buy a brand new shirt, you have to pay twelve dollars for it. I did pick it up. Probably will resell it for like fifteen to twenty dollars. Might be a quick Poshmark sale. And this is exactly what I mean by Goodwill's pricing. You can see this Last King's t-shirt was only like $4, but the other Last King's t-shirt that I showed you guys, that one was like 7 or $8. Who does the pricing in here? This is a good lesson to learn. So Yeti, as we all know, is really, it's a really good brand when it comes to their coolers. You always see people wanting to get a Yeti cooler. Uh, just because they have a really good brand dominance when it comes to that, doesn't mean that they have good brand dominance when it comes to other things, such as clothing. Uh, I could have picked these up and made maybe like two or three, maybe four dollars if I was lucky, but I did end up putting them back just because they didn't resell for that great of money. Goodwill had some really solid donations today this is a billionaire boys club t-shirt and i would have definitely picked it up had there not been like tears right where i where, right where my thumb is there was a bunch of tears in the fabric which made me put the shirt back this was the last thing that i ended up finding at the second goodwill it's a brand new detroit lions button up like polo but without the collar so i just listed it as being a shirt it's really nice black and blue brand new i mean you can't go wrong with that and this was actually a really cool dragon ball z shirt i like my little dragon ball z action Alrighty, another day at Goodwill and another day the entire table is filled with items to resell. You can actually see over there I have all of the shirts because I bought so many. If I was to put them here, everything would fall and it would not be professional. But let's go ahead and start right here. This is actually okay. I had it right there and I lost it. It is a Vera Bradley tote bag. Now it's a four in one set. These things sell for some pretty good money. I think they want about five bucks for it. Uh, moving on to this. Revit TV carry bag or Revit TV, something like that. I mean, it's a carry bag. Uh, I was unsure of whether or not this was actually uh, with it. Girlfriend actually found it, and uh, it is the complete set, only for three four or three ninety eight. This over here is a digital prenatal listening system. It is not brand new, but I will sell it as open box because uh, the only thing that's not in a bag is the uh, headphones that you see them using. But everything else like that and that, uh, it's all brand new except for the headphones. Uh, uh, this this was a um kind of a <clears throat> i don't i don't know because i don't know anything about baseball cards but this guy had so many of them every single page is filled like uh, with these baseball cards uh, a lot of duplicates a lot of met stuff but it was $15 and i decided to take the chance on it because it was a lot of 1950s to 1970s uh, baseball cards, tops, baseball cards. You can see right there. Uh, if I knew more about them, I could, I could potentially make more money. I'll have to see what I actually sell this for. This was just something little. It's a bathtub little drain kit. Uh, it looks like an anchor or something like that. You can see it was two forty nine wherever it came from. I got it for a dollar eighteen. They sell for about ten bucks, so it's not huge profit on that. But again, like I said in the previous video, uh, when I buy a lot of stuff like this, I might as well pick something up like this and just make some easy quick money. Uh, this right here is a Kate Spade four-piece eraser set. I didn't even know that she made erasers, but there it is right there. Uh, Toy Story 3 memory game. Usually these things sell a lot better on Amazon, but uh, these are actually selling pretty good on eBay, which is why I picked it up. I think you saw the Candyland one uh, in the cart. That one would also sell really good on Amazon, but it would not sell good on eBay. And then this right here, it's actually, let me go ahead and get two of these. Uh, these are like printer thingies, uh, color cartridges, uh, $2.98 each. They're different ones, so I can't lock them up together, but they go for about $25 to $30, and both of them are brand new. So we're looking at about $50 to $60 uh, just between these two things. Also, by the way, I do want to mention, I spent $200 on everything you see here. These these are Harvard table tennis racket performance assaults, basically like ping pong or something like that. Table tennis, uh, what am I saying? Ping pong. Uh, there's two of them online. I saw them going for about $30. I could, I could lot them together or I could just uh, sell them separately for $25 each. So that was a pretty cool pickup. And then actually I have to go around over here, go around the chair. I was kind of debating whether or not I should get these. They were matchbox models of yesteryear. You can see them. They're pretty good condition to be honest for how 
how old these things probably are, except for this one. This one had a little bit of a tear. I decided to pick it up anyway because I'm just going to lot all three of them together into one listing as opposed to listing all of them separate and taking longer to sell that way. This is one that girlfriend found. It's a Mahli cordless massager, brand new inside the box. The only thing is the box is a little messed up. I might have to tape it back together. Uh, that's one thing. Don't get discouraged if you see the box like this uh, because you can always do this and then tape it and you could just do that and then tape that and it looks perfectly fine for the listing. Uh, this one was a pretty cool find. Uh, oh, well, hold on now, man. Don't fall. It's like a Brookstone Bob 5-in-1 Wobble Clock and these things actually sell for some good money. Bought it for $5, which isn't too bad at all. And then these were pretty good pickups right here. Two Echo Dots. This one is brand new, never opened and uh, this one is uh, open box one because you can see that it's it's um, it's been opened before I might be able to sell it for brand new but I'm not sure could lock them up together but I don't know who's gonna buy it well actually you know what I'll see online if I can lock them up together as brand new and just uh, have it all in one shipment and then this one was in the second Goodwill. I don't think I showed you guys, but it's a Betsy Johnson little uh, wristlet. The only thing wrong with it is that right there, which I'm just gonna cut. Uh, other than that, perfectly good. I'll sell for about 15 bucks and I bought it for four. And then lastly, we gotta go through these shirts. So this is a Jets uh, Tomlinson. I, I don't really keep up with football as much as I used to, but it's a little Jets jersey. Goes for about 20 bucks online. Uh, the Salt Life shirt, I think I showed you guys. MSRP is $26. I bought it for three, probably will sell it for 15. Uh, NFL, uh, I think this one was Detroit Lions. Yeah, yeah, this one's the Detroit Lions NFL apparel. Um, I don't know. Would you call this a button up or like a shirt button up? Something like that. But I bought it for five bucks, probably resell it for about 20. North Face, um, I thought these would resell for much better money. It is a button down. It's not really a shirt or anything like that. Bought it for $8. I'll probably list it for 20 and it, it might sell on Poshmark a lot faster than it will eBay. Poshmark usually sells um, or buys, people will buy North Face on Poshmark a lot faster. Now, this is the first time I've ever actually heard of Travis Matthew. There was a bunch of these inside of the Goodwill. Hopefully I showed you guys. They were $8 each, so very, very pricey. But uh, you'll see later on, I picked up a few of them. There were just a lot that I had to put back because I guess the quality of his stuff really isn't that great. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Penguin. These were brand new. You can see right here, MSRP is $69. I ended up getting two of them. Both are the exact same size. So what I'll do is I will lot both of them up together, sell them together, and save money on shipping that way. Uh, hold on now. Well, I don't really need to pull this one out. You guys have seen this millions of times. It's a Nike Golf Polo for the Tampa Bay Bucks. You guys know I love picking up Buck stuff. Uh, this one was the Manchester United. I wish I could show you guys, but it's just like no no joke. I literally just bought so many things. The best I can do is like show you the top. Uh, these Callaways, I actually bought a bunch of these. I think I bought three of them. All of them were XXL. You can see XXL, XXL, and XXL. I'm going to lot all three of these up together in one listing and probably sell for about $60 or so. Uh, I bought them for $8 each. So $24 into 60 for these three shirts is not bad at all. And then the last two are the Travis Matthew polos that uh, were in good condition, pretty much in excellent condition. I don't think I'm going to wash them just because I don't, I don't really want to mess these up. But uh, again, they were $8 for each of them. Got three of them. So I don't really know what I'm going to list these up for because I see them going between $20 and $25 each. So worst case scenario, I bought them for $24 and again, I'll sell them for $60 in one listing. So not bad at all. Not a bad day. I did spend a lot of money just because $8 per shirt. But uh, these are going to be very easy to sell. Uh, well, this is going to be pretty easy. I don't know. I think this is going to make me some money. Let me know down below in the comments. Is this going to make me some money? Just like quickly scrolling through it. They're all tops. They're, they're different years. Uh, there are different teams. You can see the Red Sox. Um, I don't know who the Royals. Uh, I don't know. Let me know down below in the comments. What do you think I could actually sell this for? Because I bought it for 15. So I'm looking to get a really good return on it. And that is pretty much everything I bought. Very good day at the Goodwill. Spent a lot of time. We didn't finish till about like 2.30, maybe 3 p.m. or something like that. Uh, usually we're out of there much earlier. But yeah, thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good night, guys.